Okay, welcome back nerds. Today we're going to be talking about access modifiers. So what are access modifiers? Well, the keywords used in object-oriented languages, they're used to limit access for various things and also used to enforce encapsulation. I know we haven't gone over encapsulation yet, but it'll, it'll one day. So what are the different levels of access? Well, there's four kind of types. There's class, uh, derived classes, same assembly or package, depending on a language, and then just everyone, open to everything. Um, methods and variables in a class cannot be more open than a class. So if you have a class that only has a class level access, you can't have a method be open to everyone. So class level um, only has access to itself, and in almost all cases, it's going to be the private keyword. And we have derived classes. Uh, only itself and subclasses can access. Uh, protected is a pretty common keyword, but not always. Uh, in Java, protected also grants uh, package-level access. And then in C-sharp, protected internal uh, gives it the derived level access, but also requires it to be in the same package. So there's differences between languages. Next, we have the same assembly slash package level. Any class within the same package or assembly can access it. Uh, in Java, this is package. In C Sharp, this is internal. Uh, this is useful for pretty large projects that are going to have more than one code base, um, like different actual like assemblies and also useful for APIs. So if you're making an API, you're like, hey, I need this method to be accessed throughout all my code, but not through code of someone implementing this API. That's kind of where it's useful. Everyone at level is access to everyone. Uh, public is the most common keyword for this. So there's differences between languages. Uh, the, different, the four different levels I gave, those are fairly common. They, they give you a rough idea. But not all of them use the same keyword. Like I said, Java uses package, where C Sharp uses internal. Not every language is going to have all the types. C++ doesn't have a package or assembly level, and Java doesn't have only derived classes. Uh, in Java, it's derived classes and uh, package. Then uh, something else, languages uh, have different default access modifiers. Some of the times it's uh, like public, some of the time it's uh, protected. It's just going to depend on the language. And then also not all OOP languages have access modifiers. For example, Python uses naming conventions to be like, hey, don't access this method unless you're part of this class kind of thing. All right, let's move on to the code. Okay, first we have this class only level, in this case private. Um, here we're not able to call it in a derived class, a subclass, and then in just a normal class we're not able to call it. Next we have protected or derived class. In a subclass we can call it, in just a normal class we can't call it. Internal or the assembly package level. Uh, we could call it really any any method we could write would be able to call this just if we put this out as a DLL, uh, this would not be able to be called. Then public or everyone, just subclasses, um, just random classes. If we package this up and sent it out, people could call it. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, access levels are something really basic. They're pretty useful for when you want someone to not touch a certain part of code. Uh, when we get into encapsulation, a lot of this will be like, oh, okay, that's why this is important. Anyways, see you next time. Hope you have a good day.